Now it's time to talk about antiderivatives and integrals. And let's start by looking at a simple example. dy dx equals 8x cubed. So this is the derivative of y with respect to x. And we're told to find y. Well, that's pretty easy. y in this case is going to be uh, 2x to the fourth. Because you can see if we take the derivative of that, we get that. So y is 2x to the fourth plus c. So we have found y the antiderivative of this. And another name for antiderivative is indefinite integral. And it's indefinite because of that c. We don't know what number c is. c is just a constant. And, and it could be any number. You could put any number you want for c right there. And this function y will still have as its derivative 8x cubed. So because c could be anything, that makes this function indefinite. That's an indefinite integral. And we will soon see that an indefinite integral gives us a way to exactly calculate definite integrals. And a definite integral, remember, is something like this. You have a function of x, and you want to find the area under the curve between two points, a and b. That's a definite integral. And finding this function that is the antiderivative of a given function, that gives us a method that we will learn for finding that exact area. Now with that in mind, note that these two sentences mean the same thing. The process of finding an antiderivative is called antidifferentiation. Finding an antiderivative is called antidifferentiation. That, sh that should make good sense. We can also say the process of finding an indefinite integral is called integration. That sentence means the exact same thing as the first sentence. So in other words, antiderivative is a synonym for indefinite integral. And antidifferentiation is a synonym for integration. And you hear both of these terms, antidifferentiation and integration. And integration. Integration is by far the more common of those two. And as we move on through the course, you'll hear me saying integration more than anti-differentiation. But that's what integration means. It means finding the function that is the antiderivative of a given function.